Rocket Queen by Guns N' Roses. This is video number three. Uh, remember to tune your guitar down a half step. For this song, your first string will be tuned to a D sharp. Second string will be tuned to an A sharp. Third string is F sharp. Fourth string is C sharp. Your fifth string is G sharp. And your sixth string is D sharp. Okay, I'm gonna start from three minutes and 25 seconds into the track. We have an F sharp five power chord and we're gonna play it over the course of two measures and we're going to utilize a crescendo as we're playing our way through it, meaning we're gonna start off a little quieter and we're gonna gradually grow in volume. Okay, sounds like this. presses down on the sixth string at the second fret, third finger presses down on the fifth string at the fourth fret. Okay, and one, you can start out with right hand palm muting. You're playing eighth note rhythms, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and as you move through that two bar phrase, you can gradually grow louder. Okay, so at 329 we have... Start by playing the sixth string open. Very light right hand palm muting. I'm taking the uh, palm or the heel of my right hand and I'm resting it on the sixth string uh, just uh, a little bit to the left of the bridge. Just to tighten it up. And then you want to strum an E5 power chord in the seventh position. Place your first finger on the fifth string at the seventh fret. Place your third finger on the fourth string at the ninth fret. So, uh, down towards the nut. And then you can play B5, rest, and then C sharp 5, and then play again, and slide down. How do you play B5? Place your first finger on the fifth string at the second fret, place your third finger on the fourth string at the fourth fret, and you're going to strum it. And then what I do is I immediately put my guitar pick back on the fifth string to deaden the, the sound. And I think since I'm holding the pick with my thumb and index finger, I place my pick on the uh, fifth string to mute the fifth string. And then my index finger, the tip of it, uh, just automatically uh, mutes the fourth string. And then you're ready to strum C sharp five. Place your first finger on the fifth string at the fourth fret, your third finger on the fourth string at the sixth fret. So. You play it again, and then you slide down towards the nut, and then we have this line of this. So, place your second finger on the sixth string at the third fret. Play that string with a downward picking stroke, and then hammer on with your third finger onto the fourth fret. Next, we have two notes on the fifth string, second and fourth frets. In order to get the speed, I would recommend you use alternate picking down on the second fret, and then up on the fifth string fourth fret. And we're using our first and third finger stroke. Now, hold that note. again with an upstroke and then return to the sixth string third fret with your second finger pick down with a downward picking stroke and hammer on to the fourth fret with your third finger okay that's phrase number one phrase number two Right hand palm eating. Play that 
right knee five at the seventh position that I described earlier. Slide down the fingerboard towards the nut and then play an A5. Open fifth string and fourth string second fret, pressing down with your first finger. Rest and then B5. Second fret, fifth string, fourth fret on your fourth string. You can use your pinky or your third finger to grab that fourth string at the fourth fret. Uh, I believe Slash uses his uh, pinky finger. He also throws in a muted strum after that. Right there. So just lightly rest your left hand fingers on the strings and strum a muted strum. If you want to include it, you can leave it out, it's up to you. Now, I think Slash uses three fingers for that band. Personally, I, um, I prefer using my first and second. your first finger on the fifth string of the second fret, and then you can place your second finger on the fifth string fourth fret, or your third finger. I'm using my second, and my first finger is assisting with the band. And you're going to play the fifth string fourth fret without bending. second finger and grab the sixth string at the second fret and play a half step bend. Play it again without a bend. And then play the sixth string. Open twice. So uh, the second phrase. resting on the second fret. And then play with no bend. Six string open. B5. First finger on the fifth string, second fret. Third finger or your pinky on the fourth string, fourth fret. You play down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Okay, and then you go back and you repeat through that section. So here's the repeat. Ready for the clean 
section and that's the next video.